We are four days away from the uh, third Saturday in October, one of the uh, more storied rivalries in college football. Um, there's so much to be said about this rivalry. Um, there's so many great plays, so many great players. Um, and it, it's just, it means so much to the people in Alabama and to the people in Tennessee. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, we got uh, two teams: Tennessee at five and one, Alabama at six and one. Very similar teams. Um, both have uh, good defenses. Offenses uh, struggle at times, um, but um, it, it should be a really, really good game. Um, Tennessee is uh, coming off the twenty to thirteen win over Texas A and M. Alabama's coming off the uh, 24 to 21 uh, win over Arkansas. So <clears throat> if you look at these teams, which I am, I'm going to dive into the stats here. They're very, very equal. Uh, but, you know, the fact that Alabama's playing at home really is really going to help them a lot in this game, plus the revenge factor. <clears throat> but it should be a really, really good game. Um, right now, uh, Vegas has uh, Alabama as a nine-point favorite. Um, and this will be shown on CBS at 3.30, 2.30 Central Time. But anyway, uh, I'm going to kind of dive into the numbers here and, and kind of tell you how these teams match up uh, and kind of tell, tell the tale of how these teams have performed this far in the season. Um, strength of schedule, Tennessee is 22nd so far, uh, and Alabama is third. Alabama's played a very tough schedule. Uh, they've already played Ole Miss, Texas. Uh, they played Texas A&M. Uh, so they have, uh, they've had a gauntlet of, of tough teams that they've already had to play. Um, total offense, Tennessee is 33rd. Uh, they are averaging 443 yards a game. Alabama is 86th. They're, ad they're averaging 368 yards a game. Um, total defense. Tennessee right now is the 17th. Uh, to, uh, Tennessee right now has the 17th overall defense and total defense. They're they're giving up on average 303 yards a game. Uh, Alabama is a little bit better. They're 15th. They're giving up 292 yards a game. Alabama, uh, like like always, they have a really really good defense, uh, good secondary, good front seven. Uh, uh, make you earn everything you get as far as passing or running. Uh, scoring offense, uh, Tennessee has the 40th scoring offense in the country, averaging 32 points a game. Any Tennessee fan will tell you this, this team is a lot years different than last year's team. This, this, this team last year was averaging 46 points a game. <clears throat> this team is averaging 32. It's just a different team, different mentality. Uh, Alabama. They have the 57th overall scoring offense. They're averaging 30 points, so they're a little bit behind Tennessee. Uh, scoring defense, Tennessee has the 18th overall scoring defense. They're giving up on average 17 points a game. Alabama is 12th. They're giving up uh, 16 points a game. Um, very, very, this is a, a game that is going to display two very good defenses that can get after the quarterback, stop the run. Uh, and two pretty good secondaries as well. So this is going to be a uh, this is going to be kind of going into the past of some of the uh, the 80s and early 90s. You know Tennessee Alabama games is what it kind of reminds me of. Uh, rushing offense, uh, Tennessee is has the sixth overall rushing offense in the country, averaging 230 yards. Tennessee's coming off that 232 yard performance against Texas A&M. A team, Texas A&M, which at the time was the eighth overall rush defense in the country. They were only giving up 84 yards a game on an average, and Tennessee ran for 232 yards, had their way, was physical. Uh, and they did this in spite of Joe Milton not being able to complete a pass or, you know, doing anything on that end. The running game still uh, sparked us and was able to perform. Um, Alabama, they are 71st, they're averaging 148 yards a game. Uh, this really surprised me about Alabama. I honestly thought Alabama would average over 200 yards rushing easily. 
I thought Alabama with that offensive line would be way more consistent, and especially with uh, McClellan back there in the backfield uh, and uh, in the running back or the quarterback. Uh, Jalen Milrow, I thought they'd have more design runs for him. I thought the rushing game would be much better. But they are, they're kind of struggling to run, running the football. Uh, and, and the fact that they've got the third overall schedule, toughest schedule in the country, has not helped them any, though. So, But anyway, uh, passing offense, uh, Tennessee has the 88th overall passing offense. They're uh, averaging 213 yards a game passing the football. Uh, really struggled all year long. Milton and the receivers have not been on. They, they've just not been together. Uh, and like I said, it's not all. Uh, Joe Milton, it, a lot of this is the receivers. Uh, a lot of this was the offensive line before Cooper Mays come back, not giving him enough time. But a majority of it is Joe Milton. Joe Milton not being accurate. Joe Milton make, making bad decisions. Uh, <clears throat> he's really hurt us. Uh, Alabama is 82nd. They're averaging 219 yards, which is a little bit better than us. <clears throat> Alabama is getting better throwing the football though struggled to open the year against texas um uh, and and you know even against uh, usf uh, just really couldn't do much but the last two or three weeks uh they've played much much better uh with isaiah bond and jermaine burton uh, two really good receivers that tennessee will have to face and have to keep them in check um rushing defense um this is such a it's a dead even I, would, I don't think any team's better than the other in this. Uh, Tennessee is 20th. Uh, they're giving up 105 yards on the, uh, on the ground a game. Alabama's 18th. They're giving up 104 yards a game. Uh, two really good run defenses here. Um, passing defense, um, Tennessee has the 29th overall pass defense, giving up 198 yards a game in the air. Alabama is 23rd. They're giving up 187 yards in the air. Um, so Tennessee in particular, I don't know what uh, Alabama was as far as pass defense last year, but Tennessee is much, much better this year uh, in pass defense. Um, I think that some of that is just having the secondary back from last year, most part, and they're more experienced. But the biggest part is the fact with James Pierce Jr., uh, ty, uh, 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 I mean, Amari Thomas, uh, all those guys on the line just putting pressure uh, and, and getting to the quarterback and making their lives a lot easier in the secondary. So uh, that gets me to, to my prediction of this game. Um, these teams are very evenly matched, and it, it, it could really go either way. Um, I really like Tennessee's defense. I like the, the fact that Tennessee can shut down Alabama's running game and get after um, Jalen Milrow. Uh, but just the fact that this game is at Alabama, I honestly trust Jalen Milrow more than I, I trust Joe Milton. I have zero faith in Joe Milton at this point. I, I, his decision making is as bad as it gets. Um, he did everything he could possibly do to get us to lose that game at Texas A&M, but our special teams of defense kept bailing him out every single time he made a dumb mistake. Um, Joe Milton is going to have to show me that he can go on the road and perform and play well. Uh, he has not done that. He's not done that at home. He's not done that away. And obviously when he played Florida at Florida, and Florida is not near as good as Alabama, and you've seen how much we struggled on the road at Florida. Um, it Points are going to come at a premium in this game. I, I expect this game to be a much um, lower scoring game than last year, obviously. Uh, the last uh, last year it was 52 to 49. Um, I'm going to go with the Tide. Um, I think Alabama wins this game 24 to 17. Um, it's just going to be tough to score on Alabama, especially getting in the red zone. Um, it, it's gonna, we're going to really. I think they're going to uh, make us throw the ball, make Joe Milton beat them, and Joe Milton has not proven that he can, can that he can throw the ball accurately, make good decisions, and win a big game. Joe Milton proved me wrong. Joe Milton, have the game of your life, be accurate, make good decisions, and prove me wrong. I want to be wrong so bad. But anyway, I have Alabama winning this game 24-17. to Hope I'm dead wrong. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, the next time I talk to you all, it will be after this game, and hopefully my prediction will not be right. I hope. I hope Tennessee somehow gets out of Tuscaloosa with a win. But anyway, go Vols and good luck this Saturday.